Okay, so in this video we're going to continue talking about degrees of separation and I'm going to talk about diameter. The diameter of a network. The largest degree of separation between any pair of vertices in the network. So that's what the diameter of a network is. It's just the largest degree of separation between any pair of vertices in the network. Um, so if you have a network and you think you know the diameter of it, we can use these rules here. So when we claim the diameter of a network is a given number d, you know, d is standing for diameter, we have to show two things. One, that there is at least one pair of vertices having d degrees of separation between them. Okay. So if you, if you say the diameter of a network is like, say, four, that means there has to be at least a pair of vertices that has that degree of separation between them. And two, that there are no two vertices with degree of separation larger than d. So you have to make sure that there, if you say the diameter of a network is four, you have to make sure that there aren't two vertices that are have a degree of separation larger than four, like let's say five. So <clears throat> this is the same um, network that I had in the last video with degree of separation. Knowing that, we know that the diameter of this network is not three. Why is that? You can pause the video if you want. Okay. And then I'll, when you restart it, I'll go over why. Okay, so <clears throat> you know that the diameter of this network is not 3 because we already found some vertices that have a degree of separation of 4. So that would violate this, right? You can't state that the diameter of this is 3 because that means that there are no two vertices with a degree of separation larger than three, but there are. There are quite a few, actually. So, <clears throat> I'm not sure what the, um, what the diameter of this network is, but we're going to look at it. Okay. <clears throat> we know it's at least four, because we found some with four. Okay. Um, I think there might be... I'm going to just pick a couple and see what they are. Uh, let's say B, B to K. Well, to get from B to K, you'd have to go to E first, then to C, that's 2, then to H, that's 3. Did I say B to K? Let me write it down so I don't forget. B to K, what is the degree of separation? So you'd have to go to E, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so <clears throat> now we know it's not 4 either because we just found one that's 5. Okay, I'm trying to see if there's one larger than 5. Well, that was B to K. One, two, three, four, five. What about B to... Well, I think the largest one from B would be the K, which is five. What about A to K? One, two, three, four. Okay. That was even quicker. You could go from A to K in four. What about F to L? One, two, three. Okay, well it turns out that six is going to be the largest one, and I can't remember what one it is. I have a... Um, okay, so... I have it up on the computer screen. N and K. Okay, it kind of makes sense that going from this 
circuit over here that this one might take a while. N to K is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so <clears throat> at first we thought, we knew there was um, a pair that had a degree of separation of 3, but we found that after we found one with 4. So we knew 3 wasn't the diameter because, remember, the diameter is the largest degree of separation between any two pair of vertices in the graph. So we knew it could be 4, but then we found one that was 5. We just found one that was 6. If you can find one with 7, then that would be the diameter, but you can't. There's several, though, that actually have a degree of separation of 6. Matter of fact, I think there's a lot, if you, if you go from like O to, what did we just do, N to K? Yeah, N to K was 6, and O to K would also be 6, because you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there are, there are several with 6, but there's none with 7. <clears throat> if you want to find one with 7, you can copy this down and try to find one that has a degree of separation of 7, but you're not going to find one. There are several with 6, so 6 is the largest. So the diameter of this network is 6, because the largest degree of separation between any pair of nodes or vertices in the graph is 6. So that's, that's um, the diameter of a network. There's no easy way to do it other than just, you know, looking at the graph and seeing, like, how far or how long a path is from one vertex to another. It makes sense to, if you're looking for the longest one or the, the biggest degree of separation, to say, well, it's probably, it's probably a path that goes from one of these vertices, specifically these two, to specifically the two down there. Okay. So, <clears throat> six is the diameter of this network, and in the next video, I'm going to talk about trees.